Right. Before we go to the next stage, we're gonna go to the shop. We've got new items out here. Welcome back. New parts have complete. Sorry, <laughs> not a great way to start the video. New parts have been completed. Bring the bolts to me, and I'll give you power ups. Right. So there's some new items here. Now, I am actually going to get this one straight away because I'm going to need that for the next stage. There we go. Now, that one's actually quite good. That lets you be able to use more special weapons. That one's not like great. You only get 50% 50, 50 more gain when you get some health. That's kind of pointless since I'm playing like a two collection and they let you save at any point anyway. It's supposed to give you uh, lives when you re not reset but like exit a stage. So if you have like one life left and then when you exit a stage it brings it back to two. Well, you know. Because for some reason it goes two then one then naught. So that's technically three lives. I don't know why to count the naught as one. Right. Now that one's kind of uh, both good and bad because you might slide right into spikes. That one is not that good because I don't use special weapons that much. That one lets bullets go across the screen faster but it's you can beat the game without it. Same for this one, it's just basically uh, when you hold down the charge button you just rapid shoot and that's it. That one's quite good for the kind of, kind of playstyle I've got. It basically lets you charge faster as the she says. Um, that's going to be really helpful but I might not be able to get it because there's only 40 bolts. So yeah. We're going to go now. Good luck, Mega Man. Right, we're going to go to Aston Man's level. Now his level has two mazes and I really don't like them. I'm Astro Man. Sounds really robotic. Well, we're all robot masters after all. Fun fact, he's voiced by the same guy who does Zero's, bo Zero's voice in Mega Man X4. Now, you have to be really careful with these moving platforms. And these enemies get in the way a lot. Ooh, like that one. Right, come on. Right. Watch out, that guy gets in the way so you can to get across. Oh, I'm gonna have to get hit. Oh no. Now if you pay attention to the background, there's this crystal that keeps spinning around. Right, just go. Right, right watch out for that enemy there. Oh no! See, that's why I needed the power up to not get knocked back. Right, let's just get hit. It's worth it. <laughs> right, there we go. Did get hit a couple of times. When I was practicing this off screen, I didn't even get hit very much. I don't know what's going on. Now, this is one of the mazes I absolutely hate. Because this part takes ages. You have to open like these gates, and enemies get in the way quite a lot. Right, and there's one blue ball that I need to get as well. And to be able to get it, you have to open one of the gates and then reach it. So I'm trying to figure out where it is. You can use tornado hold, but it's not essential. It just makes things easier. At least when you go to the stage, you always have a tornado hold. So at least you're more prepared. Oh look, I got rid of that enemy. You can actually get rid of the floor enemies with one little bullet. It's really funny. But he's kind of hard to hit. That's why I like the arrow shot because you sometimes it gets rid of them. Oh man. That item is really going in the way. Right, I've got an idea. Alright. There you go, now we got rid of him. He, also, you have that special weapon straight away before you even enter the stage. Then now we got rid of him. Now we have to get down there. Oh, I have to open that one as well. I need to open that one. There we go. Oh, open it. Uh, 
Uh, I might have to fast forward it a little bit. What you have to do is don't keep going down the same way, then you won't get lost. That's the trick. I need to open that one. Alright, let's not go that way. Alright. Oh, I knew I'd get hit there. Alright. Uh, there we go, now we got that one there. Alright, let's put Ice Wave back on. Apologies if this takes a while. Right. There is a possible chance I might have to put some uh, what's it called post commentary up if it gets a little boring. <laughs> this can take a while. Oh look at that. I'm going backwards now. No, I have to keep that one closed. I need to find the other red switch. Right, I need to open that one. I could have tornado to get rid of some of the other enemies, but I don't know. Right. right, I need to get to that one. Right, what, what does that do? Oh, I think that's the one I need to get. Right, that's where I came from right at the beginning. I need to lock that one off. I think I need to unlock that one as well. Oh, by the way, there's another one of these bit mazes later on. It's a little bit easier than this one is. Come on, really? Oh, I would get rid of that one. Wouldn't get rid of the other one. Either. There we go. Right, I think I can get it this time. Oh, no, wait, I didn't open the other red one, did I? I didn't open the other red one. No, I did! Alright, I can actually get this now. Right, there. Nice, now I can just go. <laughs> it took me a while. I thought I was going to get stuck there for a second. Oh look, I can go now. <laughs> Ready. Right, you have to be really quick here. I'm surprised that Afterman actually has a really calm song, because in Mega Man and Bass, he has a more of an abandoned music style song. <laughs> right. There we go. Now we can go this time. That's a few outtakes which I'll put out at the end of the video. Aw, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. No, you. I could use Mega Ball to make this easier. But I won't. Alright, there is one of those blue bolts here. Somewhere. Oh, I don't even need that. Right, quick, get it! Right, there we go. That one's well easy to get, that's even- Oh, no. That one's well easy to get. Right. Okay, it's a continue point. Right, this one's even more annoying than the other one is. Alright. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's fine. I'll take that. Didn't even get hurt. Right there. You have to be really quick here. You don't. You're gonna die. You don't. It. You clearly take your time. But that enemy is gonna be right back. Watch him come back. Maybe I can just wait. What does it do? Right. No. I need to just get my chances. Get rid of him quick. Right, I'm to get hurt here, that's totally worth it. Totally fine. There, got there. Right, really easy bolts. Really easy. You virtually you can't even. You have to be so bad at playing the game to open and not get that. You don't have to use that platform in there. Huh. That's not too bad actually. Oh, there was one outtake that I'm going to have to put at the end. Right, there's another blue bolt here, but I think it's not as hard. You just have to press the green switch and just grab that. Right. 
I think if you skip the uh okay we're right down that one yeah. Right, more of those annoying metals. <laughs> there were so many of them in Tangry Man's level, I hated them so much. They made me have to re <laughs> retry a bunch of times. Right. That's one down. Come on. Right, yeah, I actually need that. But once they actually do things like that, I need. You. <laughs> right, I need to find the green switch for that, it's right there. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna have to travel a little bit. Oh, by the way, I have actually uh, played the Japanese version of this. In Legacy Collection 2, they let you switch it to Japanese, but it makes the text in Japanese. And the voice acting in the Japanese version is actually better but it's not completely better because I heard Aquaman's voice and he literally had a really high pitch voice like this and oh my god what were they thinking? <laughs> I was expecting to have more of a manly voice <laughs> and even in the Japanese version he still has a high pitch voice anyway it's like ah, uh, not much choice there either have an annoying voice or another annoying voice that's just in Japanese have an annoying English voice or have an annoying English, uh, Japanese voice. Right. Right, I need to go get that bolt. So it's like the thing with this game is that the voice acting is terrible, but the, <laughs> but the gameplay's thingy. Like I said in one of my earlier videos, it's where the only one who actually sounds good is Swordman. Proman sounds okay, Roll sounds alright. Major Man does not sound good. And you have the same VA who does uh, uh, Clown Man's voice. <laughs> right, this boss isn't too hard. So, uh, I did practice him off screen. Oh, how did you find me? I feel so embarrassed. Oh, what did you find me? I feel, I feel so embarrassed. Oh, what a great way to start the fight. You can actually hurt his, the bottom half of him, unlike his Mega Man base counterpart. Yeah, keep doing that. Right, you have to stay below where he is before you fire. Alright. I didn't even know that the first time. Right, he's gonna do the same thing again. Where is he going? Alright, right, stay here. Alright. He's doing the same attack three times in a row, and I can't even shoot him when he does that. Because I don't have a uh, sniper missile. Believe it or not, I can actually get rough with me health if I'm really low on health. Oh, I could have got in there. Right. Right. Believe it or not, this attack hurts you quite a bit. Right, just sit here. <laughs> oh, that was quite easy. Oh, come on. This one takes the longest. You know, he would have been dead by now if I actually uh, thing had got the sniper missile. But I wanted to get the special weapon first. Because then I don't have to do Aquaman stage twice to go get one of the bolts. Wow. He leaves himself really up when he does that. He can get like five shots in. Right, there here. Right. This is why I love arrow shot. Wow! I didn't even lose that for me! Lord's Grace! <laughs> oh, by the way, the guy who does uh, Astro Man's voice does the Rod's voice in Mega Man X4, and yes, that's the one where he goes, What am I fighting for? Astro Crush! That's quite good, that. But you only get four uses. Right, I'm meant to save here. Right, okay. We're gonna go to Aquaman next. Oh my god, his voice. I'm Aquaman. Oh my word. <laughs> it's just, oh god. Right. Ready. The music here is very serene and calm. 
in the uh, Sega Saturn version of this game is where the instrument's a little different. Now you have to be careful with that guy there. Alright. Oh, I knew I'd get hit there. Alright. Oh, you could just rapid fire that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you didn't swim. Uh oh, that's a lot of enemies here. Oh, I didn't even get hit. I was so sure I didn't get hit. Let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, we've never got Astro Crush because that's mandatory to get one of the parts. Right. Yeah, get rid of it. Right, I think there's a yeah, I thought so I knew there'd be an enemy in there. Right, get rid of you. I knew he'd respawn. Alright, you know what? Get rid of them. There we go. Oh, do I want that? Yes, I do. Can't believe that. I got hit trying to get some health back. <laughs> how, how bad was that? And now I got hit twice. Right. Oh! I didn't want to swim, I just wanted to kill him. Right. Come on, die! How long did it take to kill one enemy? Yeah. Ugh, all be told, I'm going to have a little help. You have to be careful because there's spikes here. And on the left, there will be some spikes at some point. Because I went right into that. Alright, let's just kill these guys. There we go, let's get him up there. There's those spikes. They've been covered over by my health gauge. So you have to be really careful. Come on, let me get that. Oh. Right. There we go. Nah, be careful here, because there's a lot of spikes here. You have to swim your way through as well. Oh, I want that one. Oh, look at all that health I wanted. I could get. But I'd have to die to get it. There we go. Right, there is an enemy up there. I can't see him. You know what? I want to shoot him. Oh well, I got it back. <laughs> kind of worth it. Right. Believe it or not, in the Sega Saturn version of this game, there is... Uh, there is a Woodman boss battle you can do, but it's only in uh, Search Man's level. And all you get off him is like this one bolt. One of those blue bolts, and that's it. Oh, here's this mini boss. It takes a thousand years to beat for I don't like this boss. Alright. Alright. He leaves himself more open when you trust it. Oh my word. Alright. Oh! I'm gonna get hurt so many times. He has like 10 hits for one. Oh! It's done. Right. I'll hit him more. Yeah, he does have a while to look out. And sometimes he just can't hit like that. Alright. Alright. Oh, I tried to jump, but I couldn't do it in time. Alright. I tried to slide away. Alright. Rush is not going to give me a C2 right about now. Oh my word. Right. Uh, this ain't going to go well. Oh! I actually did it! <laughs> Just like the skin of my teeth. I was not expecting that. <laughs> right. There's actually quite a few blue vaults here, so you have to be careful. Right. You need tornado hold for one of them, and one of them's right here. Right. Yeah, you have 
a pro tower because there's enemies here as well. Alright. And you even get some sort of weapon energy back. Nice. Alright. This is why I went to Astra. Oh, I don't know what that This is why I went to Astra Man's level first so that I wouldn't have to come all the way straight back here. Alright. There's another blue ball somewhere close to here. At first I thought, oh no, instant death spikes. Actually, they just take one of the health off. That's it. So, fortunately, they didn't make this area too hard. Alright, now where's Tornado Hall? Right here. Now you have to wait a little bit. There we go. Yeah, and you get a nice health pickup as well. This is why I didn't bother with the uh, super recovery power up because, like, well, because all pickups aren't that uh, aren't that easy to get to begin with. So you can beat the game without ever getting hurt. And oh, now it gives me all four from talking about it. Right. Yeah, we'll just get a refill on that. Right, there's another blue bolt here, but you have to stay like on the left side, I believe. Right, we're gonna get hurt quite a bit. Right. Oh, you ready to hurt there? There we go. How did I not get hit there? <laughs> oh my god. Many of those. There we go. Well, it's got my health back now. Oh, this is why I went for that power up. So now we're getting up into spikes. Just get hurt. There we go. There. Oh, wow. <laughs> Right, by the way I am playing this without half damage enhancement called super armor. You don't have to get in the shop, it's just there in the menu. And it puts like an icon on the top right corner showing that your armor plus up. The, the thing is though is that so oh wow I got hurt there, that was so kind of flash. Right. Yeah. I touched that anyway, yeah, I didn't even get hurt. There was like collision detection issues with Mystical Ninja, they were so funny. There was like a big chunk of space, right, between me and one of the bosses, and I still got hurt anyway. Right, we might have to get hurt here. Right, there you go. It's okay to tank hits as long as it's not a big hit. I swear it's supposed to be on the left there. Right. Oh, I'm up to the boss already. Right, we're gonna need that one. He's gonna be so easy with this. <laughs> oh no, this boss, I hate his voice so much. I've been waiting for you! Right. Right. They even stop off and afterwards as well. It's so easy. What a cannon, oh my god. One of the things he also says is, uh... One of the things he says is, I'm Aquaman, but you can call me handsome guy! Like, what? Let's go for this. Right. Oh. Oh well. That was luck! Oh my word. I think that's what he's saying anyway. <laughs> I love how you can charge a while uh, the fight's already over. No, this special weapon is not that great, but it'll only be helpful for swords and that's pretty much it. Reminds me of uh, Bubble Lead. It reminds me of Bubble Lead from Ninja Man 2 where it goes BANG out of your cannon and then it just falls on the floor. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm going to go quickly get another part, since I've got enough parts. Right. How many parts do I have? I think I've got eight. Welcome oh, I've got eight. Ooh. Right, okay. We will get... Uh, I do want that, but I want that and that, and I'm not going to be able to get all three, I don't think. Uh, 
We'll have to go for that one. Oh, we already have that part. <laughs> Good luck, Mega Man! Good luck, Mega Man! <laughs> you say that every time I leave the shop, but yeah. But anyway, I think I'll make a break here for a little bit. Oh, no, 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 Ah, oh, for goodness sake. All I have to do is just hold right. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may take like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.